Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. And as we wait on the final T20 game of the series between West Indies and England, you know I like to keep you guys busy. I like to keep you all occupied. So in this one, I have about three different topics that I'm going to touch on. Uh, we see where Jason Holder, he gave an interview and he was talking about, you know, why is it that he decided not to travel to Australia? So we're going to take a look at that. Plus, we're also going to take a look at Brandon King and Akil Hussein rising up in the rankings where T20 cricket is concerned. And we also see where England's dominant opener, Phil Salt, you know, he was speaking and he was saying it's really confusing. How is it that he wasn't picked up in the IPL? So we're going to talk about these couple of things. Just give a listening ear until the end. And let me know what you all think in the comment section. Alright, so let's kick things off with our former captain, Jason Holder. A man that has suffered a whole lot of stick. Or sticks. A man that has gotten a lot of beating from the West Indies supporters. Right? Man that um, took up West Indies captaincy on his head in his early 20s. Think he was what? 22, 23? Somewhere there about when he, when he, when he was named captain. And he served for a period of time. Now that his career is um, coming, uh, not even say coming to an end, I'd say he's in the twilight of his career, he's deciding to go and um, hunt it, look it, where franchise cricket is concerned. Um, so he was talking yesterday, you know, I'm taking this from the ESP and Crick Info, and he spoke about why he, he decided not to travel to Australia with the test team. Um, it came as, as a surprise to some and it wasn't surprising to some because, you know, people were saying, listen, he's basically phasing out of the team now. So it's OK if he goes and, and, and look for um, for some franchise money. But why it was probably surprising to some people is that I, I you know, just the other day when the West Indies ODI squad was named to face us, uh, England, Jason, um, the, the lead selector, Indicated that Jason Holder would have said that, you know, he's declining the offer to come and play ODI cricket at this time because he's going to use the time to fine tune his preparation for T20 and test cricket. So going into a going into a series like Australia, you know, one would be you, you could you could give one a pass to think that he, he would have said, all right, let me go. But that's not the case. So this is Jason Hole and I quote. It was it was a difficult one, but as much as I love Test cricket, I want to give myself the best chance of playing in that World Cup. <clears throat> I felt it was probably the best. I felt it was probably best to uh, prioritize and focus on playing as much T Twenty cricket leading up to that as possible. I will probably sleep I will probably sleep a little bit better knowing that I would have given myself the best opportunity to do that. Right? So in preparing for the World Cup, he's saying that he's given himself the best opportunity to get himself ready, which is to play as many T20 games as possible. So that is um the whole thing. So even though we would have heard him saying the other day that listen, he do, he's not going to play the ODIs because he wants to um, use the time to get ready for tests and T20s. You know, we, we, we are not going to see, see him in this test series. Not sure if we're going to see him making a return after the T20 World Cup or whenever, but that is um, Jason Holder's um, thing there, that he, he, he thinks the best thing is to play as many T20 games as possible leading up to the World Cup to get himself ready. And I mean, you know, is one of them things. Um, we have a couple of young all rounders coming up, you know. So if we if we if we can find one of them to fit in, you know, the only thing is uh, <laughs> having a young all rounder coming up is 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 not easy. I mean, it's not a strike ball and test cricket, but when it comes down to test cricket, sometimes it's about um, applying pressure and holding up one end and working batsmen out. And you know, Jason Holler has proven that he is good at that. You understand? So, 
he definitely will be missed he will be missed for the um he will be missed for that australia tour all right sticking to t20 uh we see where brandon king and akil hussein they have uh, both um climbed the t20 rankings you know where the bowling is concerned akil hussein is rank is our highest rank um t20 bowler he's ranked at number six uh, we are playing a lot of T20 games right now. You know, we, we just finished playing against, who was it, India. Now we're playing England. Um, so we're getting an opportunity to see the players. The players are getting a chance to really get their names out there. So Akil Hussein is ranked at number six. Um, our next, be next best rank um, would be at number 12, which is Alzari Joseph. <laughs> right, so Hussein at six, Alzari Joseph is there at twelve. And then you would have to go all the way down to 26 to find Jason Holder. And if you keep going down, you would see Obed McCoy, who hasn't played in a while. He's ranked at number 50. And if you keep going down, um, searching for West Indies um, bowlers, that is th those are all the names that I am seeing in the top 100. Right? So those are all the names that I am seeing in the top 100. Well, oh, no. My mistake. Odin Smith is there at 83. Um, 82. Odin Smith is at 82. Let me go up. I think Goody Kishmoti would be on it by no man. Catchwell is also there at 71. And um, yeah, Obed Makai. Yeah, I'm not seeing Moti on there. Probably will need to play some more T20 cricket before he really gets on there. So that is how it is looking where the bowling is concerned. Now, batting for us, my viewers and subscribers, that is Brandon King, our opener. Brandon King is ranked at number six, right? So, Brandon King is ranked at number six, and um, he's our highest rank batsman. Uh, the next base would be Nicholas Puran, who is ranked at number 12, and you would have to go all the way down to 23 to find our T20 captain, Ravman Powell. And if you keep going down and down and down, you will find Johnson Charles, who is ranked at uh, 50, uh, 55, right? So Ravman Paul, 23, Johnson Charles at 55. And if you keep going down, you would find um, uh, Shimran Hitzmeyer at 93, at 93. So barely cracking the, the, the 100 there. Um, I don't see Kyle Mears or, or any of them guys in there. Not sure what's going on, but yeah, those are our highs. Oh, Kyle Mears is at 34, actually. So Kyle Mears is at 34. And that is basically how it is looking for our batting. And moving on now, my people, we'll be t taking a look at one of the guys that we're going to come up against in the next couple of minutes, next couple of hours, based on when you are hearing this, probably you hear this after the game, Phil Salt. So I'm taking this one from the ESPN Creek Info <coughs> website, and Phil Salt is very confused as to why he was not picked up um, by an IPL team. So the headline says, Salt calls IPL auction snub confusing. I expected to be picked up. Right, so he says, it was confu it, salt. this is salt, and I quote, it was a confusing morning, all right? I expected to be picked up, having gone there last year and done well, and after the year I have had, but these things happen. It's part of the lottery of an auction. It happens in the draft, um, it happens in draft process um, as well. There's a few lads in our dressing room who are going to have a very good Christmas <laughs> and I'm very over the moon for them because you know they would have been picked up he went on to say I was a bit confused but it you know I was a bit confused um, but it can happen there's no bad cricketers on the list of the IPL <laughs> and oh, you don't say it's um the what it's it's one of those things so he's saying there there are no bad cricketers there it's, you know, so so whoever gets in, you know, it, it, it's just a, just good for them. You say it was probably a little bit, um, it was probably a little bit of it um, subscon um, subconsciously talking about, you know, um, uh, talking about a lot of quality players being there. So, you know, quality players got picked 
and he he was not picked up uh based on what they're saying you know he had a very good outing in he had a good outing in the ipl last year i think he was for the delhi capital if i'm not mistaken but he hasn't been picked up this time around i hope he doesn't take that out on the west indies bowlers later on today you know <laughs> anyway my people big up on yourself and stay safe see?